yes, 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 y'all. More love, more life, more blessings on top of blessings because the blessings don't stop, so we ain't never going to stop. I just want to say this real quick. All of my beautiful people in Jamaica, one of a big up on herself. I uh, unfortunately will not be at Sashi this particular day, which I was supposed to be performing. But you got to understand, we are in the music business. And if we are doing business, the business needs to be done properly. We got families to feed. We got staff to pay. Bills to pay. But don't forget. Subscribers, <laughs> Wagwan, Wagwan, my viewers and subscribers, welcome forward to the channel. And as usual, you know, me have to big up to my viewers and my subscribers them all around the globe. So, me I say, yeah, we appreciate yeah, them, give thanks to the support. So, me I say, big up on the same, and we love it just like that. And to all the people in the comment box, you know, keeping the comment box also busy, like a busy signal, you see me. Yeah, man, big up on the same, man, because we love the other, seeing, appreciate the support and everything, seeing. And if you are viewing for the very first time, let me welcome you to the channel, man, seeing. Yeah, big up on yourself, man. Give thanks, eh? Yes, my beautiful people. So, in today's video, my beautiful people, man sleep with his wife's brother seeks advice. We're going to talk a little about that. Also, man punch newborn baby in the face to death. We are also going to talk about that. Sashi, was it hot or was it flat? We're going to talk about that. Also, Kenya West says he's God. What a team. We're going to also talk about that, my beautiful people, when we come back. So, don't go nowhere. we we'll soon come back. <laughs> Yes, my beautiful people, welcome back. So, man punches newborn son to death. And people, I'm just going to read this article first before we say what we feel like. He says, you, Utah father, 24, admits punching his newborn son to death after the baby's crying woke him up. Kiss out my lime seed, people. Can you really believe that? It says Matthew Daniels Graves, a 24-year-old man of Roy, Utah, took a plea deal admitting to the punching 
his own newborn son to death. Police says Graves struck his one-month-old son, Braden, around 6.30 a.m. And after an alarm and the baby's crying woke him up. Graves called 911 a few hours later after he realizes his son had stopped breathing during a car trip to drop another child off at daycare. Police arrested Graves and charged him with his son's MURDER a day later. Prosecutors recommended that Graves receive no less than 25 years behind bars, allowing him to avoid both the death penalty and a guaranteed life sentence. Imagine that man. Newborn baby. Baby is a gift from the most high. Baby is so precious. People, baby is so precious. It's a blessing from the most high. You know what I mean? When there's a baby bridging, how can, how can you punch a baby in the face, bruv? A baby, a newborn baby. Oh my God. A newborn baby, and you punch the baby. Baby can't even take a pinch, much less a punch, bruv. The prosecutor, them two, Louis Levian, this man should have faced some stiffer penalty people. What do you think? What do you think, man? You punch. Listen, man, you can just have a newborn baby. You know how precious that is, brother. A newborn baby, you hold a baby in your hand and you just want to dance and sing and no want to put the baby down. And you have some people that do anything right now just to have a baby. So many people, so many women I see today with tears in their eyes. They cannot conceive so many men. I come in contact with so many men with tears. They can't have a baby. They don't know who is the problem, if them, if them is the problem, or their wives is the problem. And you, God bless you with a child and a baby, and you do that, bruv. You shouldn't come back a road, man. Honestly, you should be put away. That is my opinion, brother. I mean, I like this. This sounds crazy. It's so, so crazy, my people. Jump into the comment box, my beautiful people. Tell me what do you think? A 24-year-old man punches a newborn baby in the face. Punch the baby to death, brother. Jesus. Um, Jesus. Um, that is so much, so, that is so much evil. The devil and his whole entourage lives inside this brother. As, as I'm serious, man. Look at a baby. I wish I could have some more babies, man. Like, some more babies. You get me? There's a baby. There's a beautiful thing, man. A baby. All you have to do is nurture that baby and grow that baby in the right way. Jeez, um, I don't even want to talk much more about this, man. It's upsetting. It's upsetting, people. Jump into the commentary box and let me know what you think. So yes, my beautiful people. So apparently Kanye West was doing some interview people. You know, and Kanye West went on to open his mouth and said that him is God, he is God. And he's, you know what I mean? And I was like, what's wrong with this guy? Is he crazy or something to think he is the, the most high God, the, 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 the almighty God? You could not be God, Kanye West. How could you say such a thing, man? You, you bring down judgment on yourself, brother. Same as the people. Why would you think that? Much less to say that. Why? You know what I mean? We are children of the Most High God. We are children of the Most High God. Can you always think him is God, people? I mean, if we to talk much about this, we don't want to chat much because it's very upsetting to me right now. If you're a man, a human being, same is God. You know what I mean? Certain type of way, him is God. 
you know, like God, the creator, God, the almighty God, God, the most high God. You cannot be that God, brethren. You understand? But my beautiful people, I'm going to play this video so you can hear it for yourself. And then you could jump into the commentary box and tell me if this guy is crazy or not to think, to even think that he is God. What is wrong with people these days, man? What the heck, man? What is wrong with people? Is it what they're smoking or, or what is it, man? Something is wrong. Is they, they, they they come in contact with too much devils, man, and be doing too many devils activities, man. You know what I mean? But my beautiful people, you could jump in the comment box and tell me what you think. Take a look at this. We are the kingdom. And I'm the head of the kingdom. I am God. No one can suggest shit to me. Period. Wow. You can't tell my daughter to come say shit to me about Jesus. I'm going to just tell you some real simple shit. God runs the world. I am God. I run the world. <laughs> <laughs> Let me make that very clear. <laughs> All right, man. We're moving on. The next hottest topic is one of, you know, somebody that you call. Why that, why that be so funny to you? It's like, I know, it's just be like, make you feel uncomfortable, right? It's like when they came in and just like, <laughs> nigga put the gun on the table and then start laughing. They know the gun's on the table. It's really there type shit. You know what I'm saying? This is really God. This is really the whatever many times, I don't have the information how many times I've been here, but it's really that. Like, all right. <laughs> so apparently... My beautiful people, this man slept with his wife's brother. It says, I slept with my wife's brother a few months ago by accident. What a bum. <laughs> Yo. I slept with my wife's brother a few months ago by accident. Now he wants to confess to the family because he has found the Christ, please, I beg, is 14 years in prison, not to be a joke. I have five kids, please, what do I do? Help me, I need advice. So I'm going to read a few of the comments, my beautiful people. I'm going to hear what the comments they must say. So one person says, you slept with your wife, brothers. This man is, is not Satan. This man is not Satan. And I'm sure if I really understand that, what he says, you slept with your wife, brothers. This man is not Satan. I really want to say this. I don't know. And that's another person says, we can't help you. You got to go down like Diddy. <laughs> You got to go down like Diddy did. He says, we can't help you. You got to go down like Diddy did. Another person says, how you reach in a somebody's backside by accident? How you reach in somebody's backside by accident? Another one, another one says, every day I'm afraid of man YF. I, I guess it means you're Every day I'm afraid of man, YF. It's a woman, must be a woman say that. Another person says, why? Are you gay? <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, so another person put up a big flame of fire like this must be down on hell, something like that. Yeah, oh, is a is a willy. Put the willy in the fire. Okay. Another person says, how do you sleep with a man by accident? Was he just like your wife? To rest upon. Me, I want that same thing. Will you sleep with a man by accident, brother? Another person says, Me can't bother with this rubbish. Accidentally ho, accidentally ho. Another person says, accident. He was walking and he tripped and fell in bed with his brother-in-law. <laughs> I saw laughing emoji. All right. So, people. How does a man sleep with a man by accident? How, come, how does a man sleep with his brother's 
with his um sorry how does a man sleep with his sister's brother no not his sister's his wife fucking hell how does a man sleep with his wife's brother by accident we don't get that that it's hard to, to see around that how do you sleep with your wife's brother by accident brother batty boy how you do that how, how, how does that even happen and come at about accident you want help and you're seeking advice brother you're seeking what and now the man say find christ and become a christian now and him he want to confess you know what him to confess me eh? how does you sleep with your wife brother by accident brother him a gay and him forcing to gaze him are you are what, what is it may not get it brother that we don't get it fam i don't get it man it's too many too much too, it's too much filthiness fill the land grab too much filthiness too much filthiness brother too much filthiness you sleep with your wife's brother by accident and then i bet you sleep back with your wife after that that's oh what a pull that a pull portion that portion of nastiness brother a portion of filth portion of says pool chuck and everything i mix up no massa kiss out me lime seed man come on man man men don't make woman at lose half a man no make woman can't even trust man it seems like woman can't even trust man again because of course the woman got afraid like you put your trust in a man and say you marry this man and your husband and as you're gonna work and turn your back him asleep with your brother kiss out me lime seed man what is man becoming but a serious note people what is man becoming fam no morals, no dignity, no pride, no nothing that they again. That's all the way through the window and the doors. Serious people, my fellow people. Jump in the comment box, my lad. Right in the people with my beautiful people. And let me know what you think about this man sleeping with his wife's brother by accident. Because we don't know what else we say. We don't care who them are, we still upon them. So the big show Sashi come and gone. The big show Sashi come and went. And everybody was gearing up and preparing for Sashi. Sashi. So people, Sashi, was it hot or was it a flop? Because I can't do me here. It's a one bag of animosity. A whole lot of big idiot thing going. Artist disrespect. Um, Buster Rhymes. Yes, 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 y'all. Yeah. More love, more life, more blessings on top of blessings because the blessings don't stop, so we ain't never going to stop. I just want to say this real quick. All of my beautiful people in Jamaica, one of a big up on herself, I uh, unfortunately will not be at Sashi this particular day, which I was supposed to be performing. But you got to understand, we are in the music business. And if we are doing business, the business needs to be done properly we got families to feed we got staff to pay bills to pay but don't feel no way because i ain't going nowhere so just know we're going to come back and we're going to do it better bigger and we're going to make sure that we come represent for the people the way we're supposed to all of my jamaican family enough enough love to the maximum show and i go out and enjoy ourselves tonight and at the end of the day, just know, y'all gonna see me again. Promise. And one black artist who were in Bill for the show, star on the stage, me a rounded name, Carl, me a Mataran, me a bag of people. Juna, Kiat, and many more people, let me say, that probably wasn't Bill for the show, was booked for the show, but they were there bombarding the stage and you know, we'll put disrespect on them, go on, them disrespect Buster Rhymes and... Now, even if you get and try up the bar, and try to, try to take a little bit of food, and try to take a little bit of food. Pick up one picture, I want to know. Yeah, we're not, yeah, that's it, that's it, I'm just saying it. I want to know why I'm not going to talk about it. I'm just going to forward. I'm just going to forward them. Yeah, my Buster Rhymes are full. Hey, I'm going to feed them. Buster Rhymes are full. And some of the artists get disrespect on... Jano people. Sashi is a nice little show, nice little international show. You know, 
keeper Jamaica can bring back a vibe and, and after after Sashi being absent for a while and this is the return of Sashi. This is how it went down. Can't believe that's how it went down. But may I allow you to talk about it, people. May I allow the item to get into the commentary box and tell me what you think Sashi. Was it hot? Was it flop? Was it rubbish? Was it garbage? Was it good? Was it not? Sound off in the commentary box. So my beautiful people come to the end of tonight show. Alright? I hope you enjoy this show like the, the way you enjoy it. So may I say and big up to all the people who will be commenting in the commentary box. Big up to all the people who will be viewing from all over the world and big up to all the people who have already subscribed and big up to those who will be subscribing. Alright? You know, as you join me, I feel like another word of advice. Walk good, stay good. If you can't say good, no, say nothing. Beautiful people. Well, make peace real in the earth because, boy, the thing look how we hectic and, and too many things are going on, too much derogatory things and so much gruesome things and people losing them life violently and and and, and, and a certain certain circumstances and acceptable circumstances. You know what I say? And we just want everybody to say, just play fear. Just play fear. Play the game fear because unfair game play twice. You understand? So please play the game. Play the game fear, man. Play the game fear. This Bible says whatever you do, deal fearly. Whatever you do, deal fearly. Alright? So until next time, my beautiful people, look after yourself and each other.
是我的人。